from the News Channel 5 Network and Out and About newspaper. This is Out and About Today. Well, hello, I'm Chuck Long, and welcome to our first Out and About Today of the new year. On tonight's show, Pam Wheeler talks to the authors of a new book targeting parents of gay kids. But first, we're kicking off 2015 in style, taking a look at what's exciting us in the coming year. I'm joined by my co-host, Brent Meredith and Pam Wheeler. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy, Happy New, New Year. year. Wow. Did you guys survive the New Year? Just barely. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 2015. You, that's right. Do you feel like, do you have a good vibe about I have a great vibe. I'm really excited about this year. Yeah? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm kind of in the same boat. I feel like it's nowhere but up from here, honestly. 2014 was kind of a, a bumpy year. 2015's on the on the up. Do you want to tell us about that? <laughs> nah, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe later in the year. Maybe we can talk later. A little bit about that. Yeah, so yeah. that's just kind of a tease. So, you know, always <laughs> fun. Now, we've got a lot of things that are going to be fun to look at. Everything from local happenings to national happenings. Um, we're going to kick it off. Pam, uh, this is something I think we're all excited about, but you're excited about the Downton Abbey premiere I coming am. up. I am. Yes, it's just, it, depending on when the show's airing, it may have already started, but you can always get it on on demand and all that. Right. I am a big fan of the Downton Abbey. I don't know if you say that. Uh, we're I all big fans. It. Yeah, I can't you, Your wait. fanship kind of surprises me. I don't know why. why? I don't know why. I'm sophisticated. No, it's not that this. at all. I just, it just, I love that. I love that you love it so much. I'm so have diverse. you watched it from the beginning? <laughs> I have, yeah, yeah. Yeah, same here. And I like to actually bundle the shows. I wait until there's a few yeah, so I yeah. can do that binging. Yeah. I'm a big binger. I, you know, binging is becoming more unpopular, and mm -hmm. I think that's just every year that goes by, it's going to become the way to, that people go. Well, as, as those online streaming services do more stuff that way and release the whole series at one time, I think you're kind of captivated to do it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What's one of your favorite things about Downton Abbey? I love, um, well, I mean, I love the family element. I love uh, actually where it's set, how the show opened. Mm -hmm. I love that period. Mm -hmm. I mean, because I don't, you know, I wasn't there. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, just, it's fascinating. And there's something about... Uh, I don't know. Well, it, it, I think there's something about it, it just the, sort of the class system itself. The class system, is, yes. It's fascinating, but at the, it's at the same time, I don't know that I could survive it, but it, but I also find it fascinating that, that people, it, it worked in a way it, within that household. Right, and it's made me go back and watch the uh, show Upstairs, Downstairs. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. Whatever PBS, year that, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I guess I'm a class person. I would, <laughs> I'd probably be working downstairs, and that's okay. You would work yourself up to the upstairs. I, I might, yeah. yeah. You would. Uh, one of the things I like is, is Early on, the stories were so intriguing, and I thought, how can they keep this up, you know? But to me, every mm -hmm. season just tops the, the previous season, so I've got high hopes for this season. Yeah. And, and it's something when you can uh, lose a main character and still, I mean, which I was devastated by both. I don't know if I, uh, it's not a spoiler alert anymore, right. but Sybil and Matthew. Yeah. But you still want to watch because those other characters you love. Yeah. You well, know? there's so many characters, too. There's so That's many different right. storylines right. that you can that you can follow. There they yeah. are. Yeah. Okay, Brent, we're going to go yeah. to a local uh, event coming up sure. for you. This is a fun title. Cupid's <laughs> Undie Run. Tell well, us about that. Well, you know, this is something <laughs> that a friend of mine uh, <laughs> have talked me into doing uh, this year. It's coming up um, on February 14th on Valentine's Day. Um, it's a fundraiser for the Children's Tumor Foundation, but it's also, of course, an excellent excuse to see, be seen obviously in your skivvies um, and to go around to different venues and drink and have a great time but all in the name of, of fun for, for raising money for the Children's Tumor Foundation. Um, again it's something I never really thought about doing but met some new folks, have some new friends this year and thought I'm gonna give that a try. So okay. so it's cold and you're in your underwear? Yeah basically I mean it's sort of like the red dress run with a little less clothes and a little more coals. So. Okay, all I can say is we want pictures of that event. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay all right and we, we will. Boxer, boxers or briefs I guess uh, will be Probably answer. briefs but we'll see. <laughs> okay look forward to that. <laughs> Now, one of the things that I'm Will looking we? forward to, speaking of looking, <laughs> is looking. looking. I love this show on HBO. It started off last year, and I always enjoy it, but it started off a little bit slow, but you really got to know the characters, but boy, it picked up steam. Yeah. We're going to take a look at uh, some of the uh, things that are coming up right now, and then we'll talk about it on the back seat. This is looking coming up. Augustine made a new friend. Hey! Hey there! So, um, are you single? Only recently. You're slowly returning to the world of the living. Ever so slowly. It's like you're withholding. <laughs> what am I to you, Len? Where do I sit in the Pantheon? There's no space for jealousy. Hi, Hi Malik. There. Hi, uh, Doris. I don't want to oversell this guy, okay? But he's everything. Honestly, I get that a lot. You're in love with him or what? Happiness. Not in another place, but this place. Not for another hour, but this hour. 
Okay, that yeah. looks really, it look, really good. It, it does. does it look does. really good. And Jonathan Groff, I'm a big fan of his. I think he's a great actor, mm -hmm. and I love his storyline. You know, he can't decide between his boyfriend and his boss and that kind of thing. And Scott Bakula's coming back. I didn't oh, know, I know if he would come back since yeah. he's, you know, big now on NCIS, New Orleans, but he's coming back. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. So have you been keeping up with looking? I have. In fact, I've noticed a couple of the promos as I've been watching. So I've been catching up on the newsroom and a few other things from this past, from this current season, and they, they've been promoing the heck out of it. So I, I have been excited about it. I, I haven't seen it, but that makes me want to watch it and it I started watching Queer as Folk uh, in the middle of the night one time back on it's on Netflix now uh, if you right. guys know and mm -hmm. that just looks so much I mean it looks like today yeah and when you go back to Queer as Folk you're like oh my gosh <laughs> and it was all the rage back in absolutely whatever and I think the writing on this is really sharp yeah mm -hmm. Queer as Folk to me was very soapy it was good I enjoyed it but but this is really tough I'm still gonna complain that 23 or 4 minutes isn't very long when you're watching it you just want more I agree <laughs> an hour would do me well all right we're going on to something that uh, I think we're all very excited about. This is one of the things that you're looking forward to. What Shirley McLean is coming to the Skirmerhorn. I know. It seems like I'm a Shirley McLean fan after picking <laughs> Downton Abbey, even though she has a small role. <laughs> right. She's coming in July. We already have our tickets. Susie is a big fan. Uh -huh. And so I'm so excited. She's going to tell stories and... Well, I haven't been yet, of course, <laughs> but uh, I'm excited about it. You'll have to report it. back. We're going to give the uh, viewers out there a little uh, preview of Shirley MacLaine right now. Don't forget, she is coming to the Skirmerhorn. Take a look. If they could see me now, that little gang of mine, I'm looking at your smile, and it's a healthy sign. If they could see me now, that little dusty group Traipsing round this million dollar chicken coop What a step up! they never believe it if my friends could see me now uh -huh. Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, she's 80 years old. You know she has so many stories and interesting well, And a noticeable reflection. omission there. I didn't see any Still Magnolias clips in that montage. I mean, I'm hoping come that on, they'll you know, show some, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Weezer, I mean, that was classic. Oh, she's, classic. She's great in everything mm -hmm. she's in. That's the yeah. amazing thing about her. And has been in things for so many years. Mm -hmm. And she just, she never slows down. She's mm -hmm. always sharp. She's always funny. She's somebody I would love to go to dinner with and just yeah. kind of pick her brain, find out what she's like. Yeah, yeah. me too. You, maybe <laughs> Susie could go too? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Brent, let's go yeah. on and talk about, uh, this is something, Iron Fork, that's coming up that you're excited about. Yes, and for, uh, and in the interest of full disclosure, this is a scene event, an actual scene event. I work there now, and so, uh, but I thought this is a great thing to promo because um, it's such a great event. Um, it showcases five of Nashville's best local chefs, and they're sort of battling it out in a top chef type format. There's a secret ingredient. A lot of you have probably been in the past, but I would encourage you to go this year. Um, it's For the first time, it's going to be at the Musicians Hall of Fame and Museum. So the museum's going to be open. You can walk through the museum. You can taste the food. There'll be drinks there as well. I just, I'm really looking forward to it. April 9th, 2015. Um, so early, early springtime, mm -hmm. you'll be able to taste okay, it. So it's our own version of Iron Chef. Basically, so. yes, the Nashville version of Iron Chef. Yeah. Hope everybody will check that out and we can uh, preview it more as we get closer oh, to it. Of course, yeah. Yeah, that'll yeah. be fun. All right. Uh, one of the things we do before we run out of time, though, this is uh, the last month that we are working with our executive director, our producer, Brian Bates. He's leaving us. Yes. So, um, we're really going to miss. There's Brian right there. So I want to make sure. He probably has no idea we're doing this. Right? <laughs> he doesn't. So it's a surprise. Thanks, Brian. We're going to miss just working Brian and Barrett. That's right. We still got about a minute. All right. So he just gave me one minute. So cut, cut, cut. cut. Um, Brian, though, he has learned. I mean, I learned, but he really has. He has learned a lot. I think about the LGBT community. Mm -hmm. um, he's helped us so much when it comes to booking, to keeping up with issues. You were talking about before we went on. Yeah. That's kind of funny about Brian. What he's some of the things he's learned. Well, it's been interesting as as, as a lot of our viewers and even the people in our community know sometimes there's a little bit of confusion about the trans community and, and how that works and I remember explaining that the differences to him but him taking it in a very open and, and positive way and learning from it and then using it correctly from that point forward but just always willing to be a part of things and, and like you said forwarding us emails yeah. finding articles that he thinks might be of value to yeah. what we're doing here so and now he's really telling me to wrap in. it up so okay right. so we've got to wrap it up he's going into comedy folks he is going to knock you dead go to see him you can see him at Zanies. keep a, a look out for Brian Bates he really is a great guy we're going to miss you Brian okay when we return Pam will talk with the authors of a new book designed for parents of gay children. So come on back with us.